is this? Some girl you've brought for entertainment? My name is Mira Forrester. Oh, this is gonna be good. Mira Forrester. Why are you here? A fair question. We were told we would be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. This is no place for a Forrester. Perhaps you should ask Lord Tyrion. I asked you. Andros. She's here for the same reason you are. Ironwood. I'm sorry, Lady Mira, but we've already spoken to Lord you Tyrion. You spoke, I listened. Lady Mira has since persuaded me to consider her offer first. Now, if you'll excuse us. You're going to dismiss? You can't do this. I assure you, I can. This is a mistake, my lord. I don't think so. Lord Whitehill will hear of this. He's not a man to take such matters lightly. Nor am I. That's enough, Andros. Lord Andros. I'm truly sorry if I've upset you. You have no idea. Lord Tyrion. <laughs> Lord Tyrion, do let me know when you've come to a decision. I'd like the opportunity to change your mind. Lady Mira. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Well, that was fun. Now, as for your offer, what did you have in mind? My lord? The crown's iron. I assume you have a proposition? You had a reason for coming here. I know it wasn't just to entertain me. My family can supply all that the crown needs. You're suggesting the foresters be our sole supplier of iron. Lord Whitehill will be left in the cold. If he wishes to set the crown, he'll have to do so through your family. You'll have to at your mercy. Or, you'll bring your houses to open war. You do know that's a possibility, don't you? With you as a partner, that won't happen. As Master of Coin, I can do many things. But sending an army to the north is not one of them. However, I know your house needs this. Sorry, just turn my turn off my heater. It's probably picking up on my mic. I'll Don't consider the arrangement. Of course, you'd have to do something for me in return. Don't worry. The terms will be fair. I need more than that. <laughs> I'll have an answer for you soon enough. We have an understanding then. Thank you, my lord. This will either be very good for both of us, or very bad for you. For your sake, I hope it's the former. My lady. That was a really long chapter. So we're back where we started. They shot. So. Figured more would just be coming by. They were headed for the main gate. I know another way. You're coming with us then. If you're to save your house, you'll need more than the two of us at your side. You'll need an army. That's why you're here, isn't it? To hire one. An army of cell sorts. And a man to lead them. Do you hear what I'm saying, boy? I can lead an army. <laughs> no, you can. I've always known it. Your father was blind to that. None of that matters without sellswords to hire. And all the companies around here are engaged. 
What about Croft? One-eyed Croft, with the second sons. They're all with the Targaryen girl now. But Croft owes me a favor. I'm pretty sure he hates you, actually. No. He'll help us. I'll make sure of it. And how are you going to do that? We didn't part on the best of terms. I'll figure something out. Not exactly a plan, though, is it? Don't worry. He'll get it done. Uh-uh. Trouble coming. This mother of dragons and her cell swords are headed north, so we make for Marine. Wait, Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. We can't afford any distractions. It's not your problem. It'll be fine. It's fine. I trust you, Beska. I shouldn't have said anything. I said I was with you, little brother. And I meant it. Ponte Renas! You guy who knew Josie put that on the stotty tower. How bad graphics. And then again, you're playing this for the story, so. You probably just ported the PS3 version. It's for the PS4. Sorry about the game. Yeah, no sense in getting attractive. Just one more we'll have to kill later. Let's go. You did well back there, Asher. You acted like a true leader. You two can talk about it later. We need to get out of here. They won't stop looking for us. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. I hope you're ready, Asher. It won't be easy. Let's just get that army. I'm ready. Good lad. Either we cross the narrow sea with an army at our backs, or House Forester will not survive to see winter. The coal kid again. Was my room someone broke into? Someone else's. Hello? It's open. Everything's still here. The letters from my family. What would someone want with them? Wow. 
want to write the book. Was someone going through my books? I have information that will aid you with the M. Meet me in the gardens at midnight. Okay, that was probably the cool boy that wrote, uh, wrote that. There. <clears throat> that should last through Lady Elena's visit, at least. There's been no news from Mira. She may not have found a way to help with Elena. She'll be fine, mother. I pray you're right. Lord Glenmore's army could keep us from ruin. But Elena must still agree to the marriage. <clears throat> You might remind Lady Elena that in terms of lineage, you are still very much a man. Maester. What I mean is, if the two of you wanted to produce an heir, it should not be a concern. Obstavering question. Of, of course not. I just meant... Enough, Maester. Just remember that you'll want to see gentleness in you too. I don't mean to burden you with unwanted advice. But this is an important day for all of us. Thank you, Mother. This advice well taken. I'm just so glad to see you home. My lord, she's here. Roderick? You look. Welcome to Ironrath, Elena. It's good to see you. Where are my courtesies? Mm -hmm. It's good to see you too. Please. So, here we are. How have you been, Lena? Oh, oh! I'll try and woo her. This is. I suppose. Times have certainly been difficult, but I'm well. Thank you for asking. I set out for Ironrath as soon as I heard you were alive. My father suggested I wait, but I can't believe it's been two years. Your brother's name day feast. We danced until the sun came out. But now your house prepares for a funeral. And you... Tell me the truth, Roderick. How are you, really? And please, be honest with me. I don't mean to pry, but... I won't well, tell the truth. Every day is a battle. I can only imagine. So much has changed since we were children. Playing hide-and-seek in the grove and... You're so easy to find. You always in behind the same tree. <laughs> Maybe I wanted you to find me. But Roderick, I um, I need to ask you something. When I arrived at Ironrath today, your courtyard was filled with drunken soldiers, White Hill soldiers. They said some terrible things. The White Hills are your oldest enemies, Roderick. Why are they here? Has something happened? We weren't given a choice. Those soldiers are here at the orders of the Bolton. That's horrible. Bruce Bolton must mean to occupy Iron. No, he just wants to assure our loyalty. I'm going to be honest with you, Roderick. I have always looked forward to our marriage. But in light of all that's happened to your family... My father is questioning the wisdom of our betrothal. He wants me to call it off. And what do you want? I've been asking myself the same question. And frankly, I'm torn. I don't care about your scars, Roderick. I love the boy you were. 